so this is the first of the videos in the new bit we're going to be doing about the shop, all the different products and so on. So I thought a nice place to start would be on the rods that we stock here. So to begin with, I'm going to start at high-end rods and work the way through and go through a few different ones in the ranges which I think are brilliant for the fishing here at Lindholm. So first up, I'd start with the ones I use myself. I'm a bit biased but these are absolutely wonderful pieces of kit. These are the Acolyte Ranger rods. They're the top end rods that Drennan produce with flagship ones. And to be honest, they're an absolutely wonderful tool for all things, whether it's a waggler rod you're looking for, a long distance feeder rod, or a little nine foot bomb rod. There's something to cover everything. So, first rod, and this would be my pick of a bunch, would be this one here. It's a nine foot plus. Lovely thin blank, nice and light in the hand, and a really nice through action to it. Brilliant for this time of year, especially if you're wanting to fish lighter up lengths for smaller F1s and carp. Absolutely wonderful little bit of kit. Perfectly capable of chucking up to 30 metres with sensible tackle on. And just awesome, really. Covers 90% of what you're doing here at Lindome, apart from the odd peg on, say, the Laurels Lake or the Loco, where you might be throwing out to the middle of the lake. Um, but if I had to pick a rod for Lindome, that'd be my go-to rod. Next one, and rather than go into the 10 footers and such, because a lot of the time you'll find an angle will prefer a 9 foot or a 10 foot rod. So the next one for me, what I'd like to go through is the 11. This one, it'd be my choice if you say you're going on the loco lake, fishing for those bigger fish fishing slightly heavier hook lengths, heavier lines and you're casting a bit further. A bit more power through this bottom half here which helps you with the casting and you're playing with the bigger fish. But again, still perfectly capable of landing those F1s and smaller fish. But that's the 11 foot plus and that'd be the one if you're looking to chuck a bit further. And then rather than just go through all the rods in range, I just thought I'd highlight them couple. And what I'll do is I'll talk about a few of the other ranges. So we've got some Shimano rods and bits and bobs as well over there. The Free Spirit range as well, which we get asked about a lot because they're not something that people see a lot. But I appreciate that not everyone's got £150-£200 to spend on a rod. So what we also stock are the Vertex and the Red Range rods as well as the Camasan ones. So these are from 100 quid round to the 50, 60 quid mark and then the cheaper Camasan ones around 40, 50 quid. So if you're looking for a bit of something for over Christmas or for the next season, make sure you have a ride through and look at these rods and we'll have a bob over to the Shimano stand and talk you through the X5s and X7s that we've also got over there. But I'd start with the ones I use. Right, so we're over at the Free Spirit stand, a little bit smaller but still a lovely range of tackle what we've got here so as you can see these are the ctx rods the retail i think are anywhere from around 100 to 120 130 quid obviously as you go up to longer length rods um, but some nice little tools here we've got obviously the landing it handles what they do can't waggle 11 foot brilliant rod for say the loco or benny's places like that for what you call more sort of traditional pellet waggler fishing, you're casting out into your bait, twitching your float, working a lot harder, maybe casting that little bit further on, say, loco, fishing with eight mil pellets. That little bit longer rod just helps you with that line pickup. We also do some lovely landing net handles as well. I know we've just mentioned the aero ones over there, but there's these boys over here as well. Definitely worth a look if you're looking for a handle around the 100, 120 pound mark. Again, full range with all the carp feeders and such. And again, just the land net handles. We are waiting on a few of the rods coming in, the 9 foot and the 10 foot feeders, but they've been really popular. We've had a few of them, and to be honest, we've just walked out as soon as we've got them. Um, the far side is the highest range of rods, and they're the 200 pound plus rods. Anything from the 9 foot F1s, 10 foot carp feeders, 9 foot carp feeders. And um, they're all hollow tips, which helps the recovery of the rod. So when you cast in, you're not going to get as many um, crack offs and such because the rod's not flexing. But again, there's not many places where women stop. Brilliant company, come from the carp anglers where they originated doing the carp rods and such. 
But if you're in the market for anything like that and you've heard a bit about Free Spirit, make sure you call in and have a look because um, we've got the full range. And if there's anything you're unsure of or if you want any advice as such on rods, price points, reels to match with the rods because that's another important thing, make sure you give me or Aaron a message and we'll try as best to help you out. Thank you.